You've all heard it before. What would otherwise be a great presentation becomes one interrupted jumble of ums, ahs, like, and you knows. Empty and meaningless words filling a gap by a speaker. And just as crutches support our body following an injury, crutch words often support our verbiage when we're not sure what to say. Here's an overview of crutch words and some tips that we can use to eliminate them from our vocabulary. Eliminating crutch words is one of the fastest ways to improve yourself as a speaker. Not only does it display confidence to your audience, but you become easier to understand as your message gets across better. It isn't easy to do, but if you can nuke those ums and ahs, you are one step closer to winning over the crowd. Don't fear the silence. Ums and ahs come because as a speaker, you naturally want to avoid silence. We've been conditioned to two-way conversations, and when we pause, we get feedback from the other person, and the conversation continues. But on the stage, it's only you. The first way to combat crutch words is to realize that silence is a good thing. Few speakers talk slow enough, and they have far too few pauses. Pauses help to emphasize points, and they also give listeners time to understand and absorb what you're talking about. Remember that although you might be an international expert and have a memorized speech, the audience needs more time to interpret what you have to say. Here are some suggestions for becoming a pause artist and eliminating crutch words from your presentations. Practice, practice, practice. You should know your presentation backwards and forwards before giving it. If you spend all of your time thinking of what to say next, you can't put emphasis on avoiding crutch words. Once you eliminate crutch words, you can deliver unprepared speeches more effectively. But it is hard to cut those ums and ahs if you are not prepared. Breathe in, not out. When you feel the temptation to um your way through a point, breathe in. This may add a pause to your presentation, but it will be far better than an ugly crutch word which blurs sentences together. Avoid crutch words in conversation. You speak all the time. Watch your crutch words when chatting with your friends and family. It also helps on stage, just as it will help in a conversation. Plus, you'll get far more practice. Get a counter. If you're giving an important speech, get a friend to count the amount of times you utter an um or ah. Keeping numbers will keep you highly aware of when using these speech killers. A comma equals one pause. Make a note whenever you're doing a presentation that every comma you encounter should have a pause attached. You might want to run through a list of 10 items as if they were one thought, but you must force yourself to give a short count in between each item. Your audience will thank you for the added emphasis and clarity. A period equals two pauses. The end of a sentence requires twice as much pause. There is a time delay between hearing your words and registering their meaning. Don't overcut this step by blurring your sentences. Underline keywords and phrases and double underline especially important ones. This is a technique that we learned from a former radio broadcaster. It helps you to understand where to slow down and what words to emphasize. When you slow down to emphasize words, this reduces the temptation to inject those uh, uh, crutch words in between. If you're lost, don't panic. Ums come when you don't have your next sentence ready. Your mind is still constructing what you need to say next, so you feel throwing in a few ums will fill that space until you're ready. Don't do this. Instead, take a quick pause before moving on. The audience really won't notice, and it will make your presentation more smooth. Enthusiasm cuts the crunch. Imagine the presentation that you had to give was the most critical information that the audience needed to hear. When you engage emotionally with your speech topic, it becomes easier to emphasize points 
and avoid key crutch words. If you aren't engaged, you might feel the urge to preface statements with crutch words to downplay their importance. Plan tricky parts of a speech. Know your conclusions and introductions word for word. Also, plan out any tricky parts of a presentation that you might have difficulty explaining. If you're preparing a business proposal and want to cover a sticky issue delicately, know that section word for word. Quality over quantity. Speaking is a fairly inefficient medium for delivering large volumes of information. Emphasize only a few points in a speech, but emphasize them well and with repetition. A good way to have a presentation filled with ums and ahs is to cram a five minute speech with 20 minutes of information. We hope these tips have been good to eliminate crutch words. I'm Kevin Lerner of the presentation team, reminding you to make it a great speech.